Tonight, a daycare director remains in jail. Police say she abused a child in her care and it was caught on camera. Now investigators want to know if there are other victims. The cell phone video appears to show that woman hitting one of the kids with toys, then dropping him face first on a mat. News 6's Sean Chayabat is live at the Children's Palace Daycare in Claremont. Sean, that daycare is closed, right? Yeah, Matt, this place is closed, and its director is not going to be getting out of jail anytime soon. That's because she was already on probation at the time of this arrest. Take a look at this right over here. According to this sign, this place is going to remain closed until it reopens with a new owner. It's very sad, very disturbing when you watch it. It was so disturbing, the worker who recorded this video turned it and her boss over to police. Police arrested the daycare director, Kimberly Reed, and noted the allegations of abuse had been ongoing for three weeks. The video shows the daycare director abusing a four-year-old boy while he rested during nap time. She pummels the boy with stuffed animals, then picks him up chest high and drops him face first. There's also a video showing the director hitting the boy with her hands on his back. This is a four-year-old child, so chances are, you know, it could have happened to another child, maybe possibly younger, and just, you know, we weren't able to catch it on video or the child wasn't able to let anybody know about it. But the suspect says this video is not as it seems. She told police this was simply rough play. Parents and police disagree. <sighs> That's ridiculous. That's crazy. This mom toured the daycare a month ago and said the place gave her a bad feeling. Now she's glad she did not bring her daughter here. I have a child, and if somebody hurt her that way, I don't know what I'd do. I wouldn't want anybody to bring their kids here now at all. Now, at this point, police say there are no other reports of any other children being abused. But, of course, they are asking parents to talk to their kids just in case. Matt. Always a good idea. Sean Chabot, thank you.